watching Let's Chat. We are continuing on the Tuesday edition of Let's Chat, talking about some of the many and various pitfalls that you can run into if you're trying to find a dis file a disability claim through Social Security. Scott Wesson's here with Warren and Griffin. Scott, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, if you had to pick out the one big misconception, and I know there are several, but if you had to pick up the biggest misconception about filing for disability through Social Security, what would that be? Biggest mix, misconception is that people in general, the public, mm -hmm. thinks that there are too many people on disability and that there are undeserving people walking around out there on Social Security disability. And I, I've been doing this for 20 years, and I can tell you that it's just not the case. Every case is thoroughly vetted, checked, and rechecked, not just by one source, not just by two sources, but by multiple sources and from what I understand you're not even going to deal with a claim that you suspect is fraudulent or trying to abuse the system. Yeah that's exactly right. I love that word vetted. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a good word for that. Uh, the Social Security Administration has strict guidelines and they follow them. They follow them and they, they insist that you follow them and individuals who are simply don't qualify or not disabled mm -hmm. are not going to qualify. There's a, there's a thing that my father used to say, do not judge someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. Sure. And I think that's important to realize, and I've, over the course of doing this for 20 years, it, it's even more apparent to me that just because you see someone and you, you don't think they appear by your eyes to be someone who is disabled, right. we use that term, you don't know the whole story. Please be patient and uh, don't, 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 you know, uh, please understand that people, even though they may appear to be you know, walking and talking and doing just fine, there is something going on there that's making, making life difficult for them, making work difficult for them. And a lot of times, those are the disabilities, the ones you can't plainly see, that are the most difficult to deal with. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You also hear in uh, Scuttlebutt that if I got a good enough lawyer, I can get on the system. Not the case. No, it's just simply not. I, I'd be a rare exception. I don't care how your you know, the, the Johnny Cochran of, of, of Social Security. I, 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 you know, someone who is simply not deserving, the, the Social Security Administration is going to catch that. Now, you do see fraud. There, there were some things on television and some reports recently mm -hmm. where there were some doctors and some people who had, you know, signed some stuff they probably may not have, should have signed. And Conspired there were some, yeah, there to was, that, defraud and, the but system. Understand, that's more of a conspiracy between the individuals. Mm -hmm. It took more than one person to get to that place. And, uh, but that's just, uh, that's just not true. The, the person who is on disability, they, they've earned it, okay? If, if someone thinks they are, or they have a justifiable case for Social Security disability, but they're kind of sitting on the fence, what's the first step that they should take? Well, just call your Social Security office. You can call your Social Security office. You can call me. You can do either one. I, I, we encourage you to uh, reach out to us. We're always available. We'll, we'll talk to you on the phone. There's no charge for that. Uh, initial consultation is always free. If, if you, your doctor has told you that you have something that's going to last for a year or more, mm -hmm. now look, you break your leg and your, 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 your leg is up and you can't you know, get around for six months or three sure. months or something like that, that's not enough. Okay? You, you, your, your, your claim has to last for a year or more. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a permanent Oh, that's disability. exactly right. That's another very good point. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that's going to last for the rest of your life. It's something that's going to last at least a year or more. But this is something that will definitely impact not just your mental health, not just your physical health, but also your financial health, that of you and your family. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's very tough. It's, it's some of the most um, stressful work that I do because sure. they're deserving people and they need the help so much and it, it makes it, it makes it, you, there's a lot on the line. I'm glad we have uh, great folks like you and the staff at Warren and Griffin to call them. Scott Wesson, thank here. you so much. You can get in touch with Scott at Warren and Griffin. The email address, Scott Wesson at WarrenandGriffin.com. Scott Wesson at WarrenandGriffin.com. We'll be right back.